I'm Campbell Sucks, this is Mind Bite Thursday, your weekly dose of the human edge in technology. This week, feedback. The Booth School of Business at the University of Chicago has just published some research from, a study, from some studies that they've done that showed that it's overwhelmingly better to, to praise people for their success than it is to correct them for their failures. We typically see uh, failure as an opportunity to teach, However, the studies have shown that it has exactly the opposite, it has completely the opposite effect. In fact, it undermines learning. Uh, participants in the study were given binary choice questions. In other words, there was only two choices. So half were given feedback when they succeeded and the other half were given feedback when they failed. So success feedback and, and failure feedback. And then they were retested again on, the, on those same questions. Uh, they knew the answer because as soon as they got the feedback, the other answer, if they got it wrong, was the right answer, and if they got it right, well, they obviously knew what it was. And what they found was, in the follow-up survey, that it was significantly better results from the people that were given success feedback than were given failure feedback. In fact, the failure feedback uh, participants got 48% got of the questions right, less than chance. So why does failure undermine learning? Well, it turns out that failure is ego-threatening. And so what happens is we tend to tune out, which means that from a personal perspective, personal failure causes us to learn less, personal success causes us to learn more. Interestingly, when they did the surveys, uh, the studies on whether they are watching other people succeeding and failing, they learned, the people, the participants learned exactly the same amount either way. So it's purely the ego that's involved uh, and that threat to the ego that causes the challenge. What's the takeout from this? A couple of things from me. First of all is uh, if you're getting feedback, either you've, you've asked the question for feedback, solicited it yourself, or someone's giving you feedback unrequested, uh, recognize that in either case, uh, you're likely to feel that your ego is threatened and you'll tend to want to pull back and tune out and, and then you'll miss out on some of the key learnings that you might get from the feedback. So I'd encourage you to lean into that and to take it on board, ask questions and uh, and bore into the into the feedback to see what you can get from it. Secondly, if you're giving someone feedback, particularly if they're in your team, perhaps it's a colleague, uh, someone else, is to be aware that when you do that, if you're giving them negative feedback, if you're giving them um, feedback on failure, their ego will be threatened and they're likely to be tuning out, which means you're, they will tend to learn far less from whatever it is that you're trying to teach them. If you can, pick up on their successes and encourage them and, and teach them around a success moment rather than a failure moment. There's another practice called Feed Forward, which turns feedback on its head, which I'll talk about and cover in a future Mind Bite Thursday. Um, but until then, that's Mind Bite Thursday for this week. Campbell Sarch over and out. See you next week.